Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome from Leiden in the Netherlands, the DJ Armin van Buren. <laughs> Where you start at? If you stay, stay uh, sit in your studio, mm -hmm. do you have any idea, melodic idea, that, when, which you start with, or uh, sometimes it, it happens, it's different every time. It's different every time. Like there are no rules. <laughs> well, no. I mean, sometimes you just hear a loop, like, and you're so in love with that loop, you're like, oh my god, and then the rest just fills in. You know, you, you play the bass line that, that sort of feels good with that loop and. Sometimes I sit down with, like with, uh, I'm working with Jennifer Renee now, and we sit down with, with uh, two cups of Starbucks uh, coffee, a guitar, and a piece of paper. And that's how we sit for two days. No sequencer, we don't even turn the power on. We just sit down and write down what we feel at that moment, and so we start with the song. And sometimes you, uh, like with uh, Rush Hour, the opening theme for Armin Only, I want to do something with a heartbeat. So I try to find the internet, and I uh, looked on all these sites, and I tried to find a sample, a really good sample of a heartbeat that would sound amazing in a big room. So uh, from that heartbeat, the rest of the song just sort of came. There's two things, two, uh, two things I always say to people. One, make your own records. That's essential. Work with somebody else, but just to promote your name, making your own record is, is, is I say, look at Sander Van Dorn, Fede Legrand, they got there because they had great productions. It's very simple, it's the easiest way to the top, make your own record. Second, you have to do something in your performance that makes you different than all the other DJs. So a lot of DJs come to me like, oh man, I've had hit records, I, I produced with Paul Van Dyke, I released singles, I... Uh, nobody books me as a DJ. <laughs> I play the same records as you, I've had hit singles, and nobody books me as a DJ. And then I never really dared to say it in his face, because I said, dude, it's your stage performance, you know? You have to give people a reason to come and see you, you know? You have to give them a reason like, okay, I'm going to see Armin van Buren tonight, he's going to take me there. I, I'm, I really doubt if, the, if everybody knows everything that this machine is capable of. Have you really dig deep into this machine? I mean, seriously, re read the manual. I hate reading. I hate reading manuals. I always throw them away. But read the manual of this thing. This thing can do amazing things. And uh, uh, I think it's also really important uh, if you do a good track. Uh, if you like, for example, when I made, but uh, I was making. Uh, maybe people know the track I did with Gabriel Dresden, Zocalo. Yeah. And uh, it was so funny because we only had three days in the studio. And every time we went out for coffee, and uh, we were in the car, and they were constantly burning CDs just to listen to it. Because when you listen to it in the studio, it may sound great, but it also has to sound good on my sister's iPod, who, whose earplugs are broken. It still has to sound good, you know? And on my mom's stereo in the kitchen, which she sings along with, the track has to sound good. So I think a good thing to test it out is way out. what I always do is take the CD, put it in your car and go for a, a car test. That's what I do with every, because you have to drive every day to go to the shop to buy some things or to go to your family or to go to the gym. Take a CD, put it in the car, because it sounds different and your system in your car, it maybe sounds shit. But if it sounds good on a shit system, you know, it's a good track. So it's, it's good to have, to criticize, and, but you have to, just saying something is shit is not helping anybody. If, if you, you, you listen to each other's music here, right? I think. I think the most important thing is if somebody plays a track for you, if you don't say, oh, but shit. <laughs> I think you should say, hey, shit, because. That's you the know? most important thing. Yeah. Most important that's thing. That's, that's how you help each other. And what I don't like about Transatic sometimes is just say, oh, Armin, he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, okay part of the success of a lot of DJs, but all artists in general, you know, if Robbie Williams signs a big contract with uh, EMI, he immediately gets a lot of really good producers who makes his song, so his chances of a hit are bigger. And because he's Robbie Williams, his next single will be on the radio, so there's a higher chance of him be having a hit. So as, one, as soon as you're in that flow, put it above your bed, most important rule of music, there are no rules. Rule, rule number two, see rule number one. <laughs> okay. I would like to thank Armin that besides uh, being a great DJ and a producer, uh, he's an extremely nice guy. I think oh, we all saw that today. 
And uh, thank you for your time. Have a good time in Israel. We will love to see you here. Thank if, you. If you have time. To